Welcome to the Simple Neuroscience of Autism. Autism is often used as a condition descriptor, but in reality, autism is a spectrum disorder that encompasses a variety of conditions and symptom presentations that all share a few common traits. Many people with autism spectrum disorder have some difficulties with social situations, executive functions, and often have repetitive interests or behaviors. But this is where the similarities between individuals end. Autism is a genetic condition, but the exact related genes are not fully known. This is likely because different manifestations may have different genetic causes. There is little known about the neuroscience behind the condition, but current research suggests that the difference occurs at the cellular level. When we grow up, our brains produce many neurons that connect to many more neurons. However, this isn't very efficient, and this is why young children have very high creativity but lower self-control and higher thinking skills. Through adolescence, dominant neuron tracks tend to form and unnecessary connections are eliminated. This makes us able to focus better and have greater concentration and emotional understanding. However, for people with autism spectrum disorder, they may not lose neurons and form dominant tracks in the same way that others do. This can occur at different extents and may explain why people with autism spectrum disorder struggle with some skills, but often have extraordinary creativity and out-of-the-box thinking because their brains are simply wired in a more connected way. Thank you for watching!